Impulse Fox here back with, can, can you guess it, another OBS video. I've recorded like five or six this week. They haven't all gone up live at the time of recording and I don't know when they will, but I promise I do have normal content for this channel, actually two weeks worth pretty much, ready to go in advance, but these topics keep coming up and so I wanted to make sure that I cover them adequately as some of you guys have been inspiring some really interesting content for me to make. Specifically in this video, 365 Aquatic writes, I've always read that base canvas resolution should match your monitor. Do you, do you actually play in 720p when you stream? If not, is there a reason you changed the base resolution? Yes, there is, and we're going to cover that in today's video. So yes, even I myself in multiple of my OBS videos have stated that you should set your base canvas resolution in OBS to your monitor's resolution. And if you don't even know what any of this is, if you go to your, your settings in OBS, and go to video, you have two different resolutions listed. One is your base canvas resolution, and this is the actual set resolution that OBS stretches or squishes or fits all of your sources to and renders at on your graphics card. You see, the way OBS works is that it does all of your what's called scene compositing or scene rendering on your graphics card because that's the only way that it's really efficient to do so. And that involves putting like your, like I have here, your be right back animated screen with your webcam, with your gameplay, putting all of those different sources into one scene, into one frame, compositing those together, rendering that out, and then it sends it off to the encoder to compress and process up to Twitch or YouTube or what have you. So all of this happens on your graphics card and there is a set resolution for that and then you can set a scaled resolution for that and if as long as you're not using new NVENC, you can actually tell X264 to scale during the encoding process. However, this is very intensive for the encoder and can sacrifice some encoding performance. So typically, I recommend these days to actually scale on your graphics card because even if you're gaming on the same system, this performs significantly better. Now, in general, starting with your monitor's base resolution for your base OBS resolution is a good way to go as... You know, that's going to keep everything matched up. You don't have to worry about scale filterings. This is especially applicable if you're at 1080p. If you keep everything set to 1080p, your webcam, your games, your videos, clips, and images, and your OBS settings, then you're not going to have any scaling and your system's going to have an easier time and you're going to be good to go. However, in a situation like mine, which I realize is abnormal, but I'm still trying to pose the use case here, it's actually not a good idea because I have two systems running in this setup plus game consoles, plus multiple camera angles. And so my base canvas resolution of my monitor on my streaming PC here is 4K. I also have 4K inputs from my game consoles, the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. But then my gaming PC input is 1440p. And then my main webcam input here that you're seeing here is 4K. But I, the only 1080p source I have is the camera that I usually have mounted up for my gaming PC. Per, but pretty much everything is 4K or 1440p. The only common denominator of 4K and 1440p is 720p. That's the only resolution that scales into both of them, so it is the best resolution choice for getting clean scaling from both of these sets of resolutions at one time. Now, the gaming webcam doesn't do that, but the gaming webcam doesn't usually show full screen anyway, so it's not a big deal, and I can technically run it at 720p. I just choose not to. So that's the first advantage, is to keep everything scaled evenly, so either you keep it at the same resolution or you keep it at a common denominator of your resolutions to keep everything scaled evenly and make your life a lot easier. Because now I don't have to worry about scaling my different sources on different directions, I just have one scaling filter and one resolution and don't have to worry about it. But another, the second factor involved in this is actually your performance. Because, as I mentioned, all of this has to render and composite on your graphics card. And much like your game's resolution or a video's resolution, the lower it is, the more performance you're going to get. So if you're already delivering to 720p to Twitch or YouTube or whatever anyway, keeping everything rendered at 720p is going to make your graphics card have a whole lot less to work with and have an easier time. And there are some people who could only do 1080p 30, even just from rendering standpoint, but 720p can help them get up to 60 even for encoding and there's a push and pull and there's no easy way to get like direct metrics with regards to performance on this. But it is very helpful in terms of performance as well. A situation where you might notice performance, you know, having issues with regards to the render resolution are when there's sudden spikes in additional load. So for example, stinger transitions or playing video clips or something like that or a, you know, something that is new to your scene and over, you know, a pop-up alert that's high resolution or something, the higher resolution your canvas is, sudden changes or sudden intensity load shifts 
even if you're not using 100% of your GPU for OBS, because that doesn't make any sense. And actually, if I pull up my OBS window or my task manager, you can see here between my two OBS instances I have running to record this, I'm using 15% of my 1080 Ti. That is a 1080 Ti, though. And actually, if you count the video encode percentage, it's 34%, but that's not really how the metrics work. But for actual GPU load, it's 16% here, which is 17% now, which is a fairly significant amount of processing power when you consider that I'm on such a high you know, power graphics card. So you got two factors, scaling and performance load. And I really think you kind of need to test and fine tune. And if it works at 1080p or whatever, 1440p and scale to 720p and that works best for you, go right ahead. That's fine. Don't question it too much. But if you're having weird performance issues specifically relating to rendering lag or your graphics card, rendering lag is the graphics card, whereas encoding lag is whatever processor you choose. So NV or X264 or whatever. So if you're specifically having rendering lag issues where it's just not quite where you'd want it to be, consider lowering your base canvas resolution. It might help you out. Hopefully that answers your question. Hopefully that clarifies a bit for the rest of you because it was something I realized I haven't really talked about in depth and I certainly wanted to. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education, which does extend past OBS videos, believe it or not. I'm Evil Zox here to make tech easier and more fun. I'll see you in the next one. Go check out all my other OBS videos from this week if you missed them.